Hello guys and girls, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we will be taking a look at Wemex. Wemex is a billing service that you can use with Pterodactyl. So let's go ahead and get started on today's tutorial. They do have pricing of lifetime or monthly. Right now I will be using the premium version of Wemex. Well, I've been working with the Wemex development team for a good while. I'm not a development or a developer itself, but I've submitted so many reports. So with Wemex, they actually have done a recent update to 1.7.0, and I think this is a good time to um, get into what, what Wemex should do and what, what is it. So basically, if you're looking for like a billing solution to um, Pterodactyl or Wisp or any other services that are similar to pterodactyl this is the perfect place you don't have to pay much it's not expensive and there's is a lifetime opportunity uh, or a lifetime um, service which obviously i have my lifetime so we are going to be using this key um we are going to be installing Wemex on a new system so this is going to be a complete fresh install no pterodactyl included uh, that will be for a next episode or next time on this. Um, I will not be doing a pterodactyl um, installation because I think um, if you don't know how to set up pterodactyl in the first place, then you maybe you shouldn't be able, maybe you shouldn't be using this. But of course, I've made a automation script um, via GitHub. So we'll take a look at that in a minute. And now we have 2020. 0.04. So if we go to app update and what does it? App, up, apps upgrade. I don't know why I'm blanking. Minus one. Okay, once it's done, we are going to go to a special place called GitHub. And here we are with GitHub. We're going to go and be using our um, auto installer. So this basically simplifies um, the documentation here. So um, it, it literally does. So instead of just doing all this manually, every time which is recommended but i'm going to use my script bash so basically um it is up to date for you we're going to use the first time installing so we're just going to bash bash into it this will come in later so um actually we should do this now so let's go ahead and grab the ip address and let's go to our domain. We're going to add a record. We're going to create it. I'm going to call it, um, what should we call it? Let's call it dev. I'm going to call it dev. Um, or I'm going to call it, yeah, I'm just going to call it dev. And we're going to give it, get it the IP address. So does it show us? No, the system is dumb. Oh yeah, no, right here. Grab that session IP address. Point it to that go we've created an a record then we can go back to here let's go back to our dashboard we're going to make sure and we're going to change this change this to this authorized ip address update it you can actually change and update your ip addresses every 18 hours so do not abuse this make sure you install this on the correct ip address i was going to use this but this one is um whatever IP I had is broken. So we have updated it. I don't know how long it takes for that to be updated to the bash, but let's go ahead and move on to here. So make sure you're running as a root because otherwise you will not be able to run it. Do not run this if you already have WebEx installed. If you wish to run this to do a new one, you should only run this to do a new install. So, um, according to this video, we are using script 1.0.2. We are going to go ahead and install Wemex. So, 
this tells you, hey, you should uh, double check that you actually want to run this. This is a like, and this is your last chance to back off um, with this installer. Um, with the GitHub, you can actually read the code. I don't hide the code with this. It's open source. Literally, it's almost 400 lines of code. Um, and I'm gonna have to be reworking this to add more features. So here we go, we're gonna get all this. Hopefully it doesn't kill itself. And let the installer do its thing. Here we go. Now it says we automatically agree to Wemex Lula, which created by Mubin, Mubin, something like that. So now it's just installing Wemex. Do you wish to continue to install the database? This is important, so yes. Um, so what does this mean? So if you have a different database that's not hosted on your local machine then you would have to use an ip address but since we are going to use the local host we can set that up to local host your username to that database will be root the password is blank to root and let's go ahead and generate a password we are going to use allow connections for anyone which is actually terrible but since I don't care if root is password is blank so the root password is always blank by default so we hit enter it's going to do its job and then let's get our domain name going so let's actually make a note here so I made a note keep that password in temporary so we grab this So it is, this installer only does SSL. If you have an issue with SSL, then I recommend just uh, not doing it. So uh, let's go America, Denver, America, Denver, set up database. So it is going to be using your local host default port database name. It's going to be called Remix. The database username is Wemex. The password to that database, as we saved before, so let's go ahead and just copy this, paste it. It didn't error. So, and it's doing all this database stuff. It's gonna ask to re enter our license key, which will be this one. We're gonna copy it. Paste it. Done. Our Wemex license key has been created. So here we are going to create it without using Wemex. So so we're going to press we're going to press two. Uh, our email address. I'm just going to use. Um, since I'm not going to set up a mail server, I'm just going to do uwu at outlook or uwu that not real on username. I'm just going to call it vanilla. First name, no. Alright, I'll just put a makeup. Uh, let's do something easy. Um, 9903. Sure. Now we got to set up the Nginx server. 
So we're gonna hit, we'll automatically configure this. So let's go ahead and select apply. Yes, let's go ahead. It will tell you we'll be using and running SSL version of the installation, which is, you can reference that in here. We're gonna go to the web server configuration and this will be it. We'll be basically copy and pasting it. Um, we're gonna use CertBot because you should just always use CertBot until to get it running. Then if you have issues um, with Cloudflare, you can always revert back to CertBot. So let's go ahead and do that. So our domain name, we already discussed this. You go back here, will be this one. You don't need HTTPS, so let's go ahead. It said fail to stop Apache service because it's not running. So we're gonna select who. I'm gonna do two. Um, I'm gonna do something. Just send it to my spam email. Keyboard, I'm fucking gonna load, there you go. Uh, I agree to the terms. Um, no, because I don't need that. Requesting certificate. The certificate has is successful, as you can see there. So, um, enter the domain URL. So it'll be dev. Dot. Echo. Let me just paste that in. I don't understand why I did it differently. It should just be that. Nginx syntax is okay, so that means it is set up correctly. So now we're done. That's the entire installation of Webmux. So now if we go here, it is Webmux. We've installed it. Um, so we can do uh, let's do username the 9903 that we did. Sign in. There we go. Uwunotmail.com. We just created that. It has SSL certificates already in five minutes, basically. Um, literally. Um, then we can go to the GitHub itself. Then we can probably run the um, updater. So basically, this will update um, Wemex itself. So we can run that if we want to. Um, this is the update script. So yes. Uh, we'll need the license key. Um, you don't have to do this, but it is whatever. There we go. So now it's going to do its update. I don't think we need to update anything because, like I said before, we just installed this. And this is part of Wemex. Uh, this is easy. Um, so it has nothing to muff on has nothing in. yeah it really doesn't need to update it um it already enables the modules and everything and here we go uh, thank you for using it i will be doing more tutorials on wemix so there you go uh it has been a pleasure to make this tutorial for moving and i will see you guys next time Bye.